Hi, today we will be reviewing the paper called as Block Cloning for Faster Transformers by Hugging Face. Hugging Face doesn't really much release academic papers, but when they release one, it is delightful to read. And so is this paper. The idea that has been provided in this paper is simple and can be explained in one line best uh, but it's probably best to understand it thoroughly this paper is an extension which can be added with the moment pruning the most popular one pruning uh, which we usually use and helps to reduce the brilliant language model without hampering its accuracy that much. So let's get started. We will be uh, going over the idea, the architecture and after the code also. Before that, hit the like button if you like this content, subscribe and share with your friends for more awesome research paper reads. Any suggestions, opinion or anything can be shared in comment section. So let's start with the abstract idea. Pre-training has improved model accuracy for both classification and generation tasks at the cost of introducing much larger and slower models. Cloning methods have proven to be an effective way of reducing size, model size, whereas distillation methods have proven for speeding up inference. Okay, so here they have pro provided uh, that in our pre-trained language models such as BERT or GPT-3 or any other GPTs and several other language models, they actually have a millions of parameters to train. What I remember is uh, GPT-3 has around 137 minimum parameters to train. Uh, parameters are like weights in the neural networks. And it's fairly expensive and time consuming to even use it for fine tuning. And it could be equally computationally expensive if we want to load this into our memory. However, there have been many research happening to solve this issue to reduce the cost and time to load and train these models with effectively with minimal performance degradation. For this, they have provided two ideas, which is pruning and distillation. So first, first um, back to basics, let's understand it from an example. Let's take an example of a feed-forward neural network like a basic neural network like MS1 like this one. like we have the input values like uh, 786 uh, rows of the MNIST values and we have our neural network this uh, with with the nodes and the edges and then we have the output as in 10 values 0 to 9 now for each nodes we will be having a weight parameter weight and as we know that the the function y equal to m x plus c is been running on this uh, function where m is our weights and x is our input and c is the y intercept. So for y, uh, so for m, uh, the weights, the m, uh, there would be a matrix for the nodes. First, it will be, uh, as we will be training the new network, first it will be a random weights, but after back propagation and optimization, this weights will be updated and based on that it will learn uh, learn the weights around that 
Now it isn't important that we would need each weights of the node for prediction. This uh, some of these weights would be uh, less. Some it will be less to no change in inputs and are like dead weights. That's why uh, we have dropped out in new network. However, it is the motivation of it was to reduce overfitting rather than pruning. But it was something that I was thinking about. So for the matrix of the weights of the new network would be a, 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 a it would be very vast where each of the values would be there. And this is the actually the the thing that we want to reduce the size without hindering the performance. For this, we need to zero out some of the metrics where some of the metrics will be zero and it becomes pass. This is the basic idea of pruning. To provide the best metrics in our task, we would again train the model, but now our model would be zero out as many weights as needed without hindering the performance. We will be going over the more detailed logic afterwards. In pruning also, actually we have two of the most popular pruning algorithms. One is the magnitude pruning and second is the movement pruning. In, uh, so first of all, magnitude pruning first. Now in the feed forward neural network, we have weights in terms of distribution. Uh, okay, let's create. Let's trade here. Um, if these are the weights, so whenever we provide the input x, these weights uh, would be multiplied by w w by x, and these weights uh, could modify the the values. Now there will be some weights that doesn't uh, that will provide uh, a higher positive values. And some will be providing high negative values. But there will be some of the weights that uh, that would be like a 0 0.1 or 0 0.01, which doesn't signify that much. And that will be uh, to the that will be in the, in the central, the normal one. These are like this we uh, we are considering as dead weights, where it doesn't contribute that much to the input. And in movement pruning, uh, we just slash it out and remove all of these things. Um, this is the idea of uh, magnitude pruning. Now for movement pruning, actually, it's the next version of the magnitude pruning. The idea is that, let's take the example of the neural network again. This is uh, the act a big neural network like we can say BERT or any other big neural network and normally uh, what we do is we uh, we use this uh, as a predictive language model and we train another language model uh, and we train another custom model based on the uh, based on the BERT mod model and we fine tune it so as uh, when we would be fine tuning our pre model and not our language models. So here is this would be also a matrix of weights. The blue let's add that is this W1. Now whenever we now we don't want as this is a fine tuning model, the weights distribution wouldn't be that much drastic. It would be very less not on the extreme ends because it has already been optimized based on its PDA models. Here we cannot add magnitude pruning. So for that reason, we for that reason uh, movement pruning has been added. Basic idea is simple where we will be considering to the rate of rate of change of weights from a pre model to fine-tuned models. 
now the now this weights change can be expressed like this if we have the again the weights as w here and we have the head of let me go says and we have the rate of change of weights and if our weight was previously uh positive and for negative and for rate of change of weight let me change its colors where it will be positive here and negative here so our weight was previously positive and then also it was after pre uh, learning the language model it was positive then we would be slashing this out Pro uh, is sort of pruning and if our weight was a uh, negative first but then it becomes positive rate, the rate of change was positive then we will be considering for our model same goes for when weight was negative and in that change rate of change was negative then we will be slashing it out uh, slashing it out and when our weight was positive and our rate of change was negative then also we will be adding it out this is the basic idea for movement pony Okay, so I have provided a basic amount of context for cloning of these models, and this will help us out to understand this paper more in more clarity. Till now, we will be going to the more details later. Now they have also mentioned distillation, so let's go over the distillation also. We have a neural network model. that actually has been trained like a bird gpd model this is actually about the large model so this is our large model a uh, large uh, is in large L, not language models but uh, it will be the language model also uh, and then using the uh, the prediction of this model we will create an another model that would be that will perform equal or better than the original model without any dead weights of the original model so here we actually want uh, we we'll, in both of the case actually we would have to first train the original model and then we have to modify the the original model in a way that it reduces the weights of that and uh, we can easily understand this as a teacher to the model where this uh, the language model the large language model is our teacher and based on that our student model is learning all the important weights that would have to improve his accuracy so this is the basic idea how to reduce the model size there are a lot more things to do also apart from this also but for this paper this is enough for now now let's go over the paper again we introduce a block cloning approach targeting both small and fast models our approach extends structure methods by considering blocks of any size and integrates this structure into the movement pruning paradigm for fine tuning now this paper has extended the movement pruning paradigm with block pruning approach block pruning approach uses movement based pruning but instead of pruning instead of pruning the whole model in one go it creates a block say a square block of weights 
and which are near to each other let's say this this is our weight matrix and then there will be the our weights what it will create is it will create the blocks which are nearer to each of the weights and then instead of the individual weight uh, the weight matrix they uh, now we will be doing the movement pruning or this, this block matrix so high level is this is the idea of the paper however uh, why and how it happens let's go over we find that this approach learns to prune out full components of the underlying model such as attention heads experiments consider classification and generation task yielding among other results a prune model that is a 2.4x faster 74% smaller than birth on squared v1 with a 1% drop in f1 competitive both with distal models in speed and prune models in size so here is the basic objective that they uh, in distillation in distillation actually our models load fast and in prune model our size of the models is very small using the block transformers uh, we can achieve the best of the both of worlds but we can we can actually check the more details here also pruning methods have shown to be extremely effective at reducing the storage size of the models fine tune for a specific task approaches such as such as magnitude pruning l0 regularization lottery ticket hypothesis and differential pruning and movement pruning have demonstrated remarkable reductions in model size movement pruning produces 77% savings in parameter storage for a 1% drop in accuracy on squared with v1.1 however these models yield very little actual efficiency benefits as to run them in standard hardware often it requires reconstructing the original dense shape on the other hand distillation methods have been more effective at producing faster models as has been shown by distilled bird or mobile bird these approaches utilize target distillation to produce smaller models with a dense structure that is fast on standard hardware however without careful engineering and size selection this model are much larger than current ones so here they have provided the obstacles in using the pruning where we actually have to load the pretend model in memory to prune the model first and in for distill bird it could be possible that the new model would not be much lower in size to repeat benefits so basically this block pruning does is that it creates a sort of semi structured sparsity patterns now also they have provided they that here we find a surprising result that despite utilizing 
सब रो स्क्वायर ब्लॉक्स डूरिंग ट्रेनिंग द अप्रोच लर्न टू एलिमिनेट फुल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द मॉडल इफेक्टिवली ड्रॉपिंग ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ अटेंशन हेड्स दिस इफेक्ट अलाउज द मॉडल टू अचीव स्पीड टू अचीव स्पीड अप्स इवन बियॉन्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्ट्रक्चर रूनिंग ऑफ फिफ फॉरवर्ड लेयर्स सो इन अटेंशन we have so in multi head attention we can we actually have a multiple as we uh, mentions we have multiple heads in our attention model so in attention mechanism we have quadratic complexity problem where the matrix created would be of size m into m where m would be of input sequence which will be multiplied by m of the of uh, the input sequence so when it will be passing to attention head for multi head attention so it actually contains if we uh, reconstruct this thing so uh, multi head attention repeats its compression multiple times in parallel like we have the query key values pair which actually is been going in multiple linear layers and then it will be going over the attention head at the attention scores where it splits the query key and value parameters in if we can say this would be the n ways and it passes is split independently to a separate head this each of these units is one head and there are multiple heads around that all of these similar attention calculations are then combined together to find the multi final attention scores so if we could delimit the whole head the section of this thing then which contains one part of query key and value then it will be very save a lot of space and this is what they have mentioned that this been possible in block cloning also for more context actually they have also provided one image where we can check it out here also if you can see this is our uh, attention block where each each of these rows are our attention heads here you can see that multiple attention heads have been removed from our neural network these blues are the actually weight blocks and the pink are the prune blocks so we can pr prune blocks so we can see a, a lot of these uh, blocks are been missing which have been pruned now let's understand this pruning in detail mm. starting with the transformer model with parameters theta our goal is to produce a similar set of parameters theta s that are both fine tuned for specific and task and smaller in such a way that the inference can be effectively computed on a parallel hardware basically what whatever the uh, bits we are having the bit matrix it, what we are having 
we want it to be a most pass so that uh, so that uh, we don't have to load all of these uh, metrics on our model at once in transmers we have two sections where we can optimize the most which is feed forward neural networks and the multi head attention as a simple feed forward neural network will be having the parameters of weights of the size of number of nodes and we will be having that we will load it to the model which we can denote as the weight 1 and weight 2 for multi head attention actually they have provided the four types would be there which is the weights of queries the keys the values and our outputs where the size of the weights would be of the size of m into m the m is the input sequence so now we want to optimize these weights for this they have again provided the idea of the score base of the magnitude based pruning where the basic idea is to the weight the to update the weights where where we have the scores of the uh, each of the weights and we are want to add the mask to that so like the new weights would be the original weights first then we will be adding a zero or one mask and using this mask then we would be zeroing out a lot of the metrics to create this mask we use uh, the scope of the metrics for movement based cloning we will focus on the movement of the weights and this is actually the formula for that to optimize the weights so as long as our movement scores are greater than tau then it will be acceptable in our model and the tau is actually the rate of change of the weights on that thing now let's look at the architecture of the block pony now till now we have were actually seeing the basic research the idea that it is happening in this work we extend the movement pruning to work on block of local parameters specifically each matrix in the transformer is partitioned into fixed size blocks this setting goes beyond the arbitrary pruning of unstructured methods with the goal of encouraging the data locality closer to what would be needed for efficiency our approach is extremely simple for each parameter matrix weight of r into m into n we assume a fixed size block structure m slash into r n slash each of these blocks acts as an individual group in the regularization with a set score parameter derived from the corresponding score matrix so here actually in the transform we are creating the new idea the block transformers are actually been using on top of the movement pruning so that it actually reduces the size of the movement pruning and also provide the accuracy of the movement pruning also for this actually as what i have shown previously also the we can go to the weight matrix like this this weight matrix would be there and all the weights would be mentioned in the matrix we just need to create the look square blocks around that and for each block uh, now we will be doing the movement pruning for that and the rate of change of the the block is something that we will be considering if it is satisfied then it is okay if not the whole block will be removed from the thing
so now you have uh, so this actually the dust reduce a significant amount of the significant amount of blocks it also reduces the training time to fine tune this model also to reduce the size also and as you have you would have understood that the size of the blocks does matter in these things that's why they have actually mentioned here they have experimented this on multiple types of blocks some as the 32 into 30 square blocks uh, sec second is on the size of the models in size the input size uh, like some fun uh, raised to function of squares or the number of attention heads that it is having as this is a new idea and approach we will be also checking out the experimental setup and all the idea that they have provided for cloning so now they have compared the cloning on three methods the block based cloning the hybrid and the hybrid field one for block based cloning is the simple block where we are actually using the blocks uh, on top of the movement cloning uh, on hybrid actually on hybrid it uh, jointly removes the hidden weights on the fit forward neural networks also it the, does actually as hybrid this actually add the square block only on the attention layer and the size of 32 into 32 which actually they have provided that this shows actually shows the best trade-off between the performance and the accuracy this the block size and there's one more which they have provided the hybrid field one where they have actually added on uh, the idea of cloning called as rewinding which actually rewinds the weights of the prune network to their values from early in the training and retrains the prune network from there this helps to identify the ways that should be not be pruned we can check it here also all the three values are almost similar this the left one is the attention head and this one is the feed forward neural network in both of these things we can see that that they are uh, doing the better at removing the, a lot of the weights but how we how we can see that the block cloning does remove a lot of the weights in feed forward neural network and also on the attention heads and that's why uh, as we have discussed that uh, in hybrid one they were using the block based pruning only so that's why these two are similar in hybrid field one they are actually using the reverse one so that's why it it isn't like the block the two but in the feed forward neural network also the block based pruning does remove a significant amount of the space and that's why we can see here that every block has been removed if if i can zoom it out every block has been removed here if it is not significant enough to in rate of change of the value, uh, the movement it provides to the output now here we can check the matrix on the square uh, the st they have provided this is on the Stanford question answering data set where our x is the speed up how speed uh, the model is been able to load the f1 is the our accuracy sc scores the map the more the better here also and here also the more the better but now here you can see that the movement based cloning actually provides a, a good amount of performance scores but the in terms of loading the model it does take a lot of time in comparison to the block based pruning or some hybrid based models also 
in terms of density also now density in terms of storing the model we can see here that the block base uh, provides the densest model because it it eliminates the whole block instead of the individual weights in pluning and in the hybrid contains better scores with lower density and the moment based pruning actually does provide a good amount of accuracy but also it's the dense it is not the densest model from what i can think here is that there is a trade off between the moment pruning and block pruning where the moment pruning provides the best results but the block pruning block pruning does provide the best in terms of dense weights and that's why the hybrid model actually provides the best of the both worlds here also they have provided some more in terms of numbers where the bud or any other tiny bud also are of size 85 megabytes of to the hybrid or hybrid field are just 20 or 16 megabytes without compromising much on the f1 scores and the speed also however the i would say this is not much significant but still it is uh, better than the state of the art values that we were having the moment pruning and it actually adds a layer on top of that uh and in this paper also from what i understand is that they don't specifically think that movement uh, the block based pruning is the best approach uh, the block based pruning does need a moment based pruning right now to provide the better results and which is why we they are mentioning as hybrid pruning in the future if there will be anything i think so they would uh they would remove the moment based pruning altogether itself so that's my idea on this paper overall this is a very great paper and we they they have actually provided a lot more results which if needed you can check it out if there will be anything let me know also we can actually check the code also as it is the hugging face as hugging face does release a lot of the models on their website and they actually open source a lot of the codes so we can check it out on the code also now this is the code that hugging face has shared for block based pruning which add actually that we have discussed that it adds the moment pruning on top of that uh, actually it's is the top of the moment pruning and they have actually added the matrix for that also for code perspective there is a code just me here this thing till then uh the thing is that uh, the the actual code doesn't really support in in python for that they have actually created a different mod module which integrates with python for block based pruning i will be saying this links in the description if needed you can check it out and also they have said the weight also which uh also they have said the model also in their website which we can check it out and if you want you can use this but on the block based model for but and for paragraph based question answering and can check out the thing it as i mentioned it just contains the 12.5% of the original weights and so the linear list contains the 12.5% of the original weights and the model contains the whole model contains the 32% overall for the thing we can actually check out some examples also here i have just taken the example from wikipedia for the alexander and here we can check it out 
they have provided the idea of who he is based on the paragraph this is basically the thing uh, this is the final thing that we can check out in terms of the blog based pruning that's it for now if you like this content and you want to support it you can hit the like button and subscribe if you want regular updates and let me know if you have any opinions around this thing